Welcome. Today, we'll be going through question three from the British Maths Olympiad, round two, 2002. Prove that the sequence defined by y0 equal to one and yn plus one is equal to half of three yn plus the square root of five yn squared minus four, where n is greater or equal to zero, consists only of integers. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. Try rewriting y n plus one equal to half of three y n plus the square root of five y n squared minus four in some way. This could be by getting rid of the square root. Hint number two. Consider using both y n plus one equal to half of three y n plus the square root of five y n squared minus four and y n plus two equal to half of three y n plus one plus the square root of five y n plus one squared minus four together. You should aim to get some kind of factorization. Solution. So we can rewrite y n plus one equal to half of three y n plus the square root of five y n squared minus four as two y n plus one minus three y n equal to the square root of five y n squared minus four. What we did was we first multiply by two and then we took away three y n from both sides. Now we will square both sides to get rid of the square root and we will get 4 y n plus 1 squared minus 12 y n plus 1 y n plus 9 y n squared equal to 5 y n squared minus 4. We will now add 4 and subtract 5 y n squared from both sides and then divide by 4 to get y n plus 1 squared minus 3 y n plus 1 y n plus y n squared plus 1 equal to 0. So now in the same way we can rewrite y n plus 2 equal half of 3 y n plus 1 plus the square root of 5 y n plus 1 squared minus 4 as y n plus 2 squared minus 3 y n plus 2 y n plus 1 plus y n plus 1 squared plus 1 equal to 0. Now what we're going to do is we are going to subtract the second equation from the first so i minus ii to get y n plus t squared minus y n squared minus 3 y n plus t y n plus 1 plus 3 y n plus 1 y n equal to 0. Now we can factorise the last little bit to get y n plus t squared minus y n squared minus 3y n plus 1 multiplied by y n plus 2 minus y n equal to 0. Now we will factorise the difference of two squares and we will get y n plus 2 plus y n multiplied by y n plus 2 minus y n for the y n plus 2 squared minus y n squared and then we also have minus 3y n plus 1 multiplied by y n plus 2 minus y n equal to 0. We factorise once more and we get y n plus 2 
minus yn multiplied by yn plus t plus yn minus 3yn plus 1 equal to 0. Well, now we know that one of the brackets will have to be 0, or both. So at least one of yn plus t equal to yn and yn plus t equal to 3yn plus 1 minus yn is true. Now we look at the first few terms of the sequence and they are all integers. So yn plus 2 will be an integer and same thing with yn plus 3, yn plus 4 and so all the terms in the sequence will be integers. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time. Goodbye.